Okay, okay, YouTube, a bit of an eye flown. Eye flown? I say that every single time. Bit of iPhone vlogging to start this video off. Full day of eating on my new shredding diet of what I'm eating to get in shape for Dubai. Five and a half weeks until we fly off to the desert. I've just finished off my 30 minutes fasted cardio. Just gonna grab a few bits for meal one now and then I'll be home and preparing that. So far, really, really enjoying the whole process. I've had a little bit of a switch up in my training, which I will explain later on as well. But actually just dieting and wanting to drop body fat and get in shape without the pressure of a show being there is actually quite nice at the minute. And I'm really, really enjoying the whole process, like I mentioned. So yeah, I feel like this is slowly just becoming a lifestyle and I'm noticing the benefits more and more now of just staying in shape year round with how I feel, how I look, my confidence and everything like that. So yeah, enjoying it. So we have picked up the goods for meal one. And as you know, post cardio, we always have our post cardio victory drink. Oh, beautiful. Right, let's start the day. Okay, okay, YouTube, what is good? We are back with the first meal. Literally just got checking shots for Ben and we'll be submitting my check-in after consumption of meal one, which is three whole eggs, Four bacon medallions, 100 gram of sourdough bread with some mixed veg. And then right here we have 75 gram of oats with 30 gram of whey paste and cinnamon. Not sure if you can see that there, but I've absolutely fucked up that whey paste something curl. Still gonna go down the hatch though. This is gonna be the pre-workout meal as well. We're gonna get onto the first wave of check-ins after this while this digests, and then we will be off for legs. Right, all right, YouTube. So we have boxed off the first wave of check-ins and we are off to the gym now to train legs. Gonna get a little bit of on film, not gonna take you through like the whole session breakdown, but I will show you a few clips and then we will be back with the post-workout meal. I say earlier as well, how I mentioned about noticing the benefits of staying in shape year round. I may have just secured myself my first modeling job, which is which is actually quite exciting. I'm not sure like how much I should charge, like my hourly rate or anything like that. If you know anything about that, please do leave a comment below. I literally just said I'd happily have travel expenses paid for and to actually keep the clothes in which I'm modeling. That's pretty much what I was interested in, more or less. But yeah, about fucking time if you ask me. YouTube back to the eye float. <sighs> Fucking said it again, didn't I? Back to the iPhone vlog. I was halfway through consuming the post-workout meal and completely forgot to get it on film, completely forgot that I was filming a full day of eating. So what have we got? Well, I say I was halfway through eating it. I pretty much had a few bites and then remembered. So here we have our salad bowl. We have 220 potato, 175 chicken with some spinach and onions. And then we have 100 gram of oats with 30 gram of whey paste. I'm not sure if you can see the whey paste. Turned out a little bit of consistency this time, but I still haven't mastered that yet. I'm not sure how these lads seem to make it look all aesthetic on Instagram. Definitely, definitely not my field of expertise, but if you know how, comment below. We're gonna eat this while watching a bit of cult leader Hamza. So yeah, see you at the next meal. Okay, okay, YouTube, we are back with the last meal. I will take you through what we got. So we got a salad bowl here, just 175 chicken with some spinach, lettuce, mushrooms, and onion. We have right here 75 gram of oats with 10 gram of dark chocolate. And then we have my favorite to wrap off this meal. We have my skier bowl, which is 300 gram of frozen raspberries, 250 gram of skier yogurt, and 30 gram of whey paste. Now, this is gonna be quite a short video if I end it here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up the camera to tomorrow and take you through everything in terms of what is happening in this dieting phase, break down everything for you, and then let you know how everything has been going. See you tomorrow. Right, YouTube, it is a few days later. My gosh, it has been a busy few days, which is a good thing. It is a good thing. I've had a trim, as you can see, all freshened up. 
I'm going for like a, a taper fade now. Um, I'm not really sure what a taper fade is in all honesty, but it's kind of the new thing to get nowadays. I feel like I've had the skin fade for a long, long time since I was about 16, 17. I'm now 24, so come on, like I really need to be freshening things up a little bit now and creating a new look, especially with the, the model life in which I am now about to embark on. By the way, I was only actually joking when I, I said it's about time that I got a modeling job. But there is a fitness clothing brand launching soon in which I will be modeling for this Sunday. Which one? I don't know. I actually haven't been told yet. I've never actually done anything like this before though. And it's quite funny, when they asked me what my hourly rate was for modeling, I'm thinking, I haven't got a clue because I've never fucking done it before. But it's gonna be fun regardless. So I'm just gonna rock up, be myself, do my thing, and hopefully I don't stick out like a sore thumb. And if I do, let's hope that these photos aren't getting spread across Instagram because that would be fucking embarrassing. I'll be having to go to Liverpool Street in London, so it will be a day out, it will be a, a day's work. Maybe I'll train down there as well. It'll be quite nice to actually take you through a full day of eating of what I would eat if I'm traveling for the day and have to almost macro track so it could be quite a lot of value for you. Now in terms of that full day of eating that was a full day of eating consisting of 2700 calories and around about 270 grams of protein. Food has actually been lowered since then though to 2400 calories training day and 2100 calories rest day. Thanks for that Ben. We are now under five weeks out until we head to Dubai. So it is time to really put my foot on the gas now and start pushing hard. I am getting leaner. I, the scales have been plateauing a little bit, but we've been getting nice drops frequently. I'm literally two pound down since we last spoke a few days ago from when I actually filmed the, the full day of eating. So Already these changes are starting to kick in, physique is starting to take shape and I'm starting to come in that fraction quicker now, which is nice. In terms of training, I did say that I would speak around my training. Current split at the minute, I'm running a push, pull, legs, rest, upper, and then arms and delts, which I absolutely love. I feel like that sort of split just works for me perfectly. One, because I don't like training legs multiple times per week. And two, because I really don't like training pull at the minute either. So. The fact that I'm hitting my push on a Monday when I'm most motivated to train is superb because that's always a great session. I then get pulling legs out of the way midweek, which I'm absolutely fine with. Rest back in on Thursday for chest and back. And we do have a rear delt exercise towards the end of that as well. And then I get to finish the week with arms and delts, which I mean, come on. A Saturday morning, 10 a.m. when you're in the gym, it's busy. You get to finish with an arms and delts. You, you cannot beat that. So yeah. I'm really enjoying my training at the minute. And in terms of the split in which I actually structured for myself, because I did write it on myself. So Ben is coaching me, yes, but he's mainly just taking the check-ins and any adjustments to the plan. In terms of the training, the nutrition, I structured all that myself. So I'm absolutely loving my diet at the minute. And with my training, I'm really enjoying my training at the minute as well, because I've come away from trying to be that optimal bodybuilder on prep and essentially just doing whatever was written out in front of me given to me by my coach because that started becoming an issue. I started falling out of love with training because I was essentially hitting sessions which I didn't really enjoy. I was doing exercises in which I didn't really connect well with nor enjoy. So being the optimal bodybuilder zapped the fun out of training for me. And now I'm actually structuring exercises within my split that may not be the most quote unquote optimal exercises, but they're exercises in which I enjoy. And if I enjoy my training, then I'm gonna get more out of my training. And that is going to be more optimal for me. Get a little optimal count on the screen. How many fucking times did I say that? So yeah, right now I'm essentially on the path of just trying to get in phenomenal shape and then maintain that phenomenal shape and live a quality lifestyle around it. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm noticing the benefits of staying in shape now just due to how I feel, how I perform, my confidence, self-esteem, everything like that. I really do feel like this is the way forward for me. The idea of going into an off season after this prep really did not appeal to me in the slightest because I had no desire to wanna to get out of shape. I had no desire to start shoveling down food. I had no desire of constantly feeling tired, sluggish and lethargic, hating my training. I really did not want to do it. So the fact that I made the decision to diet into Dubai, it felt like the right decision. I can honestly say we're just coming to terms with that decision of 
I am going to get in shape for Dubai. The excitement that I felt with that just clarified to me that that was the right decision to make. So that is going to be the goal from here on out. I probably will continue dieting after Dubai because I doubt I'm really going to get into the condition in which I want to be in for Dubai. But after that, I'm going to continue dieting, get in phenomenal shape. And then I'm really just going to document how you maintain a phenomenal, phenomenal physique while living a great lifestyle as well and not having to be a robot optimal bodybuilder. Nothing against the guys that are. I was once upon a time, but I feel like I'm heading in a new direction now and a new path. And if I do compete again, like I said, never say never, it will probably be 2026, 2027. So it's a long way off yet. This is very much a new path for me right now. I'm freshening things up, feeling good about it. Still very much a bodybuilder at heart, don't get me wrong, I'm certainly not going hybrid on you. Yes, I'm doing a few runs here and there, but they're not for the reasons in which you think I would be running for. I'm just trying to invoke a little bit of discipline because I hate running. I'm certainly not trying to train for a fucking high rocks. Fuck high rocks. It looks shit. It doesn't appeal to me in the slightest, right? So again, nothing against anyone that does a high rocks, right? I personally just wouldn't want to do one. Again, never say never. I might change my mind in the future. Who knows? But for now, I'm still a bodybuilder. I still train like a bodybuilder. Still eat like a bodybuilder. I just want to maintain a six pack year round, to be honest. And I don't want to have to restrict myself on a social event. That's pretty much it. So yeah, can't wait to take you on that journey. Like, share, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. And if you have not gone all in yet, then this is your sign to do so. Take care. God bless.